Yo, what's up, everyone? It's the Savage and Horror here. And now I am back bringing to you the Premier League fixtures of 2020-21. So, yeah. Obviously, it starts on the 12th of September. And then somewhere in May, I don't know. But back to the plan. Obviously, this is the day everyone looks out for. If you're an English football fan. And, yeah. Let's see how it goes. So, we start off away to newly promoted Fulham on the 12th of September. Well, and that will be quite a tough game. Because they're newly promoted. And yeah, not very e easy when you go to a newly promoted side. Next, we play... West Ham United at home on the 19th of September. So there you go, another, and it's a London derby. In fact, we've got two London derbies to start the season. There's our fixture. Then we go into October, I'm more well just with you. Really. So yeah, we've got a very tough month in October. Obviously, we finish off on the 26th of September. Away to Liverpool, it will be a very, very tough game. So there you go. Then we start the month on the in October, and we start the month with Sheffield United at home, and that's also a tough game because I got quite a good squad in that. Then this is where it gets really tricky. Because, because we got three pretty good teams. So, on the 17th of October, we play Man City away from home at the Etihad. Will we get one over on them? Maybe. But that's a very tough game. That is away at the Etihad. Then, we are at home to Leicester. Which will also be another tough game because... They've also got a very good squad. So yeah, there's at least two key fixtures. We have at least one key fixture in at the end of September. And then we have two key fixtures in um, October. So then, yeah, we finish off that part of the season with... Man United away at Old Trafford. And it, yeah. Obviously these fixtures are subject to be moved due to Europa League participation. So yeah. But yeah, Man United away. Yeah, we haven't won there since 2006. Obviously I'll be setting targets for Arsenal this season. Well... In fact, let me get this right. That's a big six ground. That's a big six stadium we, we're going to. So within our one... Nope. Within our one... I mean, one... Two... Three... Within the first... One, two, three... Four, five, six... Seven games, we've got three of the big teams away and we haven't won there in five years maybe it's a chance to actually get a win at the big six but i don't think that's gonna happen then we go into november away to aston villa at home at the emirates obviously we beat them last time out at home obviously we lost away from the home them at home from I'm at their ground at Villa Park, but we beat them at the Emirates with 10 men, 3-2. Then we are away to newly promoted Leeds United. That is also going to be a tough game. Because you know what these newly promoted teams are like at the beginning of the season. Yeah. Then... We've got two more tough games. Wolves at home. Well, then we've got 
Then we got Wolves at home and Tottenham. And then the North London Derby to start off December. Tottenham away. Then we got Burnley, Southampton, Neverton or Everton. So yeah, Burnley home, Southampton at home, Everton away. And then we got a big one on Boxing Day, Chelsea at home. A repeat of the FA Cup final that we won. And then afterwards we got Monday the 28th. We end 2020 off with an away trip to Brighton. Then we got West Brom away in the new year to start 21. Crystal Palace at home. Newcastle at home. Southampton away. Then to end the month we got Man United at home. Then we got Wolves away to start February off. Saturday the 6th we are, well these are subject to change. We are at away to Ashton Villa at Villa Park. Then we're at home to Leeds. Then we're at home to Man City. Then we're away to Leicester, tough game. Then we are away to Burnley, another tough game. Tottenham Hotspur. Oh, I mean twat. Scum at home. North London Derby in March. There you go. West Ham United at away at the London Stadium. Then we got Liverpool to start April. We play Liverpool. Sheffield United away. Fulham at home. Everton at home. Newcastle United. To the way to start of May. West Bromwich Albion on Saturday the 8th, whatever it is, at home. Chelsea on the 26th, on the 12th of May away in a big London derby. Crystal Palace away. And then we end the season off with Brighton at home. So looking at that running, especially in May, you know, if you look, as of here, I was here, I'm going to draw here, on that red line. We have, if we were to challenge for the title, we would have it quite easy, except from Chelsea away. Yeah. What do you think of, obviously then there's Liverpool in the community, sure. But what do you think of our fixtures? Is it a chance to prove ourselves? Or will it just be another failure of a season? Let me know. But thank you for watching. These are the Premier League fixtures. What one are you looking forward to the most? Let me know in the comments. Keeping it savage.